How does it feel to watch the show back now that it's over and you're home in Chicago watching this, probably with your friends and family who also live here? Yeah, um, watching it back has been tough, honestly. It's, it's a mixed emotion because how cool and exciting, but at the same time, just kind of, you know, hearing the things that were said and, um, you know, just seeing it all unfold, it, it's a lot. It's like, I'm in the glass case of, case of emotions, I like to say, um, but honestly, I'm in so much awe and I'm so grateful for the love and the support that I've been receiving from everyone and just to think that I've inspired people is just like so crazy because I'm just a normal person that did did a thing. So yeah, I think it's, um, I'm just very grateful for the entire thing because I've very much grown and learned from it, so. What made you originally decide to take that leap to do the show in the first place? Yeah, you know, I've always done the unconventional thing. Um, always like tried to pave my own path in, in certain ways. And so when this opportunity fell in my lap, I was like, honestly what a unique love story like what an amazing way to like find your person and like tell your kids like you're I found your dad this way you know it's and to have it like filmed and like have those have those memories I think I, I was just like you know what this is this sounds like something that could that could be really like huge for me so when you think about your individual journey on the show and how people now say that they look up to you because you really put yourself first the entire time. If you could go back and give your old self months ago a piece of advice, knowing what you know now, what would you tell yourself? Yeah, you know, I, I would tell myself not to be so naive because, you know, I, I know the change is hard. You know, when you're wired for um, a certain way for such a long period of time, just because you hear the words that you're looking for doesn't mean that the actions align to those words. And so, you know, I tell myself not to be so naive in thinking that change happens so quickly within people. It takes a lot of effort and time for change to really manifest. And I think, um, yeah, I think I would just be a little bit more, um, you know, just less naive. <laughs> Without giving away any spoilers, do you think that looking back, you would change anything? No, I think I was supposed to go through this experience with Shake just to learn and grow in myself and, you know, understand that the confidence that I have isn't stemmed from another person. It's stemmed from within me. And, you know, I think I really needed to go on this journey with him to, to understand that and learn that I am strong and it does not matter what other people think of me. As long as I'm happy with myself, that's all that matters. Was it cool to bring the show in your hometown? Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so surreal to see Chicago. I was I was in awe. They depicted it so well. I could watch my city all day long. Um, it's just one of the most beautiful cities. Do you have a favorite moment that you maybe wish made it into the show but didn't that you could share? Um, I think my pod dates um, would, like um, what you don't see is that I made connections with other guys in the pods. And, you know, I was really stuck between Shake and one other person. I was very much on the fence. And so I wish they kind of aired more of, you know, the deep conversations that we had as to why we even like gravitated towards each other. And there were some like fun dates in the pods that we did, you know, um, and we had a lot of fun. Like at one point, I think Shake bought me a milk bar cake and like we played games and like, you know, it, it, there was a lot of fun there and a lot of depth. Uh, so, you know, I wish they aired more of that type of connections. So I know people who are excited for the reunion and they're watching it now, they're probably wondering what's next for you. Have you met someone since then? Are you still talking to people on the show? Yeah, interesting question. Um, you know, honestly, right now I'm trying to focus on myself and there's so much on my plate right now. And I, you know, I just want to be able to navigate it properly. And, um, you know, in a relationship, you really have to, especially when it's under a microscope, you know, there's a lot of pressure. And so, you know, I want to make sure that I'm good emotionally and, um, you know, just figuring out what the next chapter is going to look like, and then kind of, you know, jump into trying to find my person. So yeah, I'm really just, you know, navigating this world and right now just focusing on myself. Okay. Why is it so important for people to do that? Because I think that's something that Maybe not enough people take the time to get to know themselves, have that relationship with themselves before they invest in someone else. Yeah. So, you know, your advice. 
Yeah, honestly, I was that person also before this experience, you know, I always thought having somebody in your life, like, just makes it better or like, you know, that you're just more secure or more, you're more safe. So I tend to, you know, always have, you know, a person with me. And, you know, after the show, I realized like, okay, wow, like I kind of feel alone right now. And it's kind of a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, you're going through the emotions, you're sad, you're upset, but at the same time, there's a happy emotion because you went through something so like amazing and magical. And, um, but I realized like, I love being single and I love taking care of myself. I love loving myself. And when you do that, like I really believe in law of attraction. And when you put out love into the world because you're so happy with yourself, you will attract the right type of people into your life. And I truly, truly believe that. So I think like taking care of your, it's the journey starts within and then you can kind of exude and extract the love that you're looking for from somebody else. Since the reunion did come out tonight, I mean, what should people expect if they're going to tune in and watch it? I would say just when you thought things couldn't get worse, they kind of do. <laughs> That's the things that I'll give about the reunion. It was, it was a lot. Um, yeah, that, that's all the tea I'll give there. <laughs> For something like coming back to seeing an ex in general, people try to avoid that in my experience but you you're literally put in a situation where you have to come face to face with the people that you were on this journey with even if it wasn't the person you got engaged to there were all the other guys in the pods that people were dating so is it interesting to kind of explore that type of where you're anticipating getting some sort of closure do you get that kind of closure um no well the type of closure I do get is that you know I know what's best for me now and that's just to move on and move forward and just you know, wish shake the best from a distance. Um, yeah, it, it's tough to be in that position where you're on a platform on a public platform, and you have to kind of express your feelings. And you know, I'm not one to really express feelings uh, much, I like to put a wall up, but, and that's why I learned so much from this experience that it's okay to be vulnerable and express, you know, that you're sad, or that you're upset with the situation. And these are normal emotions. And a lot of people can relate to that. So I think it's important to put it out there. And yeah, I was hoping for some sort of apology or some sort of, you know, remorse or something from Shake. And I really don't find that. So I just know that it's a lost cause and, and there's not going to be any closure. And my closure has to be that I have to protect my energy and move on. Right. That's good advice for anybody, honestly, going through any sort of similar situation. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, though, it does seem like there is some sort of tension happening at the reunion. And I have to ask, like, is there anything going on with another one of the cast members? Maybe it was the first time you had another connection with in the pods. Um, you know, I did have another connection in the pod. And so, uh, you know, right now I'm just focusing on myself and, you know, I'm single. I'm trying to, you know, just navigate this whole world. Um, and I don't want to add another layer of complexity to that. Um, but, you know, maybe, maybe there's potential with somebody there. You just have to tune into after and see, you know, see where my journey goes. Okay, cool. DT, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of people are going to take good advice from this conversation and it's Women's History Month. So we love to see that. And yeah, thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.